Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we're going to be reviewing episode 18. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this episode was pretty good. It was definitely not one of the worst episodes, but it wasn't one of the best. It was like right in the middle. So overall some great stuff, but then some, you know, iffy stuff as well. Okay, so let's move on to actually getting into this review and breaking down the episode. So we start the episode with the Sun Eater, what happened last episode. Some guy freaks out in an elevator who turns out to be a later subject of Lena due to him freaking out. And that later causes sort of this prison riot where Nonna Cherry goes wrong. Lex basically tells her, you know, I was waiting for this to happen, to see your project to fail, to get you to understand what I'm trying to achieve to be this sort of almighty powerful being controlling everyone and having all the power in the world. She doesn't agree with that and so that's some of the stuff that happens with Lena. We'll get back to Lena in a minute. But anyway, so we have Lex versus Brainy at the start of the episode and throughout this episode Brainy makes some choices that... He obviously goes against Lex, but Lex, by the end of the episode, reveals that, you know, he was expecting that to happen, and it was part of his plan. So, also, Megan is in this episode. She's still around from last episode. She has a few very tender moments with Jean, especially at the end. They finally kiss, and it was a nice moment to see. It was just very hopeful, and I liked it. Okay, so we have Kelly versus Obsidian versus Andrea. And in this episode, it seems Andrea, again, is quite oblivious to what's going on and, you know, the attacks that have happened and things that have been linked to Obsidian going wrong. She seems to be still very oblivious and I think that sort of rubbed me a bit the wrong way because there has been so many things happening to do with Obsidian, their tech, their VR lenses, that has been bad that she won't even consider something that Kelly is saying and William is saying. I think it's a bit weird. Anyway, so Sean Astin returns in this episode as Pete, the military friend of Kelly. I find it funny how it's like, the military friend, that's like such a TV thing to do. I think that's such a CW thing, is there's always a military friend somewhere. But anyway, so that was cool to see Sean back. He doesn't have the biggest role, but he's good fun, especially if you've seen Stranger Things. Obviously, he was in Lord of the Rings. But this episode was a Stranger Things heavy episode, which was cool because I just watched Stranger Things recently. So we had Sean Astin, and then you had Gemma, who is played by Cara Bueno. I don't really know how to say her name properly, but anyway, so she's on Stranger Things as well. So I thought it was very cool to have those two in the same episode. And then let's move on to talk about Leviathan. So we have Gemma and Rama Khan. Rama Khan returns. He does a few things in this episode. He has a few good moments in DEO. I'm not generally the biggest fan of him so far. I think he's just quite overpowered and he is just not as good as some past villains that we've had. Okay, but Gemma is kind of interesting as of right now. And so you have all these people still in VR lenses just everywhere. Still kind of weird how people just like kind of turn off. I get the concept that it's supposed to be them turning off from the outside world to escape. But I think it's kind of a bit silly how people are just using it absolutely everywhere. Like everywhere you go. But I don't know, maybe that's just me. And so Kara is still angry with Lena in this episode. Lena's working with Lex and the prison guy who... Lena is apparently like really good friends with now because he comes back all the time whenever Lena needs some help. I don't know why that's the thing, but anyway, so he's just linked to Nonna Cherry. I guess that's why he's back. And Nonna Cherry goes wrong. People go crazy in the prison. They attack everyone. Lena tries to help her friends. Lex beats up some people and there's a prison break. Well, not really a prison break, but like a prison brawl, essentially, like a riot within the prison due to Nonna Cherry going wrong. By the end of the episode, the prison gets blown up by Lex, so, you know, he covers his tracks and everything like that. So, we have this fake laptop video of the Leviathan lady that was killed by Lex. So, you know, that's a way for them to find out who is working with Leviathan, and it turns out that is Eve Tessmacher, who, in this world, is a perfect citizen because this is, you know, a different version of reality. She hasn't had this past experience when you know, she was working with Lex and everything, but obviously in this world, she is working with Lex, as was revealed last episode, but she is pretty clean as of right now, and she's just working with Leviathan. Okay, so let's move on. Nia dreams of an evil brainy. Uh, he's all green, and basically it's just a warning sign that he is somehow working with Ramakan in some way, even though it's not, like, the obvious way. Okay, so we have Karen William, 
and they have this kind of funny moment and still kind of flirty. I really don't know what's going on with this relationship. I don't think it's going to turn out to be anything, but it was kind of funny. She said the line two guys with accents to do with like Alex's cat or something. Or maybe it was a dog. I don't remember. But anyway, so I really don't know what's happening right there. It does seem that they're probably not going to go through with this in one episode. So maybe this continues next season, their potential relationship. But, you know, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so let's move on. Leviathan faces off against Team Supergirl. Lex fights these prison inmates. This is all happening at the same time. So you have Rama Khan versus Team Supergirl. And they capture Rama Khan. He's put in interrogation. You have this weird moment between Brainy, Nia, and Kara. And Brainy is in the interrogation room. He speaks a new language. He speaks Rama Khan's language, some ancient language. I don't know what it is. But then at that point, you know, Nia is suspecting and Kara is suspecting, like, why is he talking in this sort of language that we've never heard him speak? And it's just at that point that Rama Khan takes control of the staff and he breaks out. He is that powerful. He can break out of those dampening chambers. Like, I guess, you know, the cuffs he had on and the chains were supposed to properly hold him but he was too powerful, so he got out. At the same time, we have Pete, who is played again by Sean Astin with Alex, and they're being attacked by people trying to protect Leviathan, so that is another thing that is happening. At the same time as Rama Khan is actually destroying the DEO. So the DEO gets destroyed, and they realize it's a trap. Rama Khan gets out, he takes all this kryptonite, and he takes down Kara, so Supergirl is unable to stop him. The whole DEO comes crumbling down, to the ground and it's all just rubble in the end so it's been destroyed and it's by the end destroyed completely so team supergirl visits the rubble after you have this little confrontation between brainy and neo so that's the end of the deo for this season i would pose the question to you guys do you think that the deo is going to come back next season i think it could potentially just be the fortress that they stay at but there's always a chance that they get a new base and maybe this was part of the idea. They wanted to reshape and redesign the way that the DEO looks. And like when Supergirl moved from CBS to the CW from season 1 to 2, they changed the base entirely saying there was a new base. So maybe they go to a new base and that is where the new DEO is. But however, it seems like the DEO is becoming more and more irrelevant as we go on because there is less and less of our characters there. Yes, Brainy's the director and Lex is in charge, but... I don't know how long that's going to last because all of our main characters that were there before, Alex, Jean, Kara, they don't work there anymore. So we'll see if they actually bring it back next season. That's still up in the air. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Okay, so Lena finally gives up on the Cherry because it doesn't work. And, you know, she's been doing this thing the whole season. And all it's led up to is just a reveal with Lex. Like, there is nothing more to the story. Why did it have to go on this long? They could have started on Cherry at like the mid season and then just make it fail right now rather than just wait the whole season for nothing. So I think it was a bit of a nothing storyline because she just keeps on testing people. She's trying to do this, but in the end, nothing works. And, you know, it didn't turn out to be a good storyline at all. And yes, it's cool. Lex shows off his true colors to her. But that was about it. So Lex reveals, yes, he wants to be humanity's savior and he wants to do it with Lena. And Lena thinks Lex is a monster once again like she used to. And she's kind of finally come to her senses and she's not going down this dark path anymore. Finally. Okay, so then we move on. We've got Kara and she's sort of giving up. And we have that McGunn and John kiss towards the end of the episode. Also, Kelly and Alex are reunited. We have Alex talking about her failure, trying to get this information that they were trying to get with Sean Astin's character. Basically, we get a hint that Alex is going to be getting a new suit and also Kelly is going to be getting a suit, getting a mask because she's going down this vigilante path. She's not at the DEO anymore. She's doing this with Team Supergirl, so she needs a new identity. So I would say she's probably going to get a suit and a mask very soon, and potentially we may get Kelly as like a new kind of guardian figure to take over James's role, is what I sort of got the gist about this. But I think Alex is going to have a completely new suit, which I'm really, really, really excited for. Honestly, that was probably the most exciting thing in this episode. Okay, so we have Lex and Gemma towards the end of the episode. Lex blows up the prison, then Lex meets with Leviathan, and he's got an invite to the Leviathan ship for tomorrow, which will be next episode, the finale. This was the penultimate episode. It was due to be episode 20, the finale, 
but you know they're mixing the episodes together i think it'll be fine by the time when we get to next week okay so eve versus william william gets kidnapped at the end of the episode that is a thing that will continue on to the next so that was kind of a big moment towards the end of the episode and supposedly you know one of the biggest things is Kara and lena making up the ending is just Kara telling her to come over here and they're going to talk basically. So they're going to be making up and she admits that she made a terrible mistake, that being Lena. And also she reveals to Kara that her suspicions were true, that Lex is working with Leviathan and Lena wants to help to stop them. And I think that is why we've seen the behind the scenes photos with Kara and Lena together. I think they're going to be working together and they're going to make up and be friends again. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Next week is the finale, so please be sure to stick around until then because I really can't wait to see how they wrap up the season because, you know, the main villain is Lex after all, Leviathan is there, but we need to see how it's finally wrapped up. However, John Cryer has said that his arc doesn't completely finish as Lex, so I'm guessing we're gonna see Lex being defeated next season unless they want to keep him around for even longer. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to that because I think Lex is one of the best things about the show right now, if not the best. So, you know, I'm a big fan and I wouldn't be opposed to that. But it was supposed to happen that he was supposed to be defeated in the finale this season and they didn't shoot that, supposedly. So maybe we'll get that continuation next season. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.